Welcome back to our channel. In our previous video we introduced you to transistors and how they form the backbone of modern electronics. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check it out. Today, we're diving deeper into one of the most important types of transistors, the bipolar junction transistor, or simply BJT. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. A BJT is a three-terminal semiconductor device that can function as either a switch or an amplifier. The term bipolar refers to the use of both electrons and holes in its operation. This is different from field effect transistors, FETs, which use either electrons or holes but not both. In a BJT the current flowing through the base terminal controls a much larger current between the collector and emitter terminals. This is a key characteristic that makes BJTs so versatile. There are two main types of BJTs, the NPN transistor and the PNP transistor. In an NPN transistor, electrons are the majority carriers. When the base is positive, current flows from the collector to the emitter. In a PNP transistor holes are the majority carriers, here current flows in the opposite direction when the base is negative. Now let's talk about the operating modes of BJTs. BJTs can operate in three distinct regions, the cutoff region, the saturation region, and the active region. In the cutoff region, which is the off state, no current flows through the transistor. It acts like an open switch. In the saturation region, which is the on state, maximum current flows through the transistor. It behaves like a closed switch. In the active region, the BJT acts as a controlled current amplifier. A small current at the base terminal controls a much larger current flowing from the collector to the emitter. This makes the active region ideal for analog circuits such as amplifiers for audio, radio signals, and instrumentation. Understanding the current relationships in a BJT is crucial. The most important equation for understanding BJT behavior is IC equal beta times I ab here, beta is the current gain, which typically ranges from 20 to 1000. The emitter current, IE, is simply the sum of the collector and base currents. BJTs are incredibly versatile, and are used in a wide range of applications such as switching circuits for microcontrollers and small motors, amplifiers in audio, RF, and instrumentation circuits, oscillators and signal generators, analog circuits for precision amplification. So why choose a BJT? Well, they offer high current gain, fast switching speeds, and better performance in analog circuits. But they also come with some drawbacks. They require continuous base current. They have lower input impedance compared to MOSFETs, and they're more prone to thermal issues in high power applications. Popular BJT transistors. Narration. Some popular BJTs you might encounter include 2N2222 NPN for general purpose applications. 2N2907 PNP as its complement. TIP31 and TIP32 for medium power applications, and BD139 slash BD140, often used in power amplifiers. For those interested in more advanced topics, BJTs can form Darlington pairs for higher gain, and you must be careful of thermal runaway, especially in high power designs. And that wraps up our deep dive into BJTs. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our upcoming videos on field effect transistors, FET, analog circuit design, and much more. See you in the next one.